chapter 7 eh okay, these are the keywords in this chapter okay, where is the air we cannot see and we cannot touch the air so where is it we can feel the air okay so uh, let's go through what is actually air okay air pollution index api in malaysia Malaysia and a few other countries in East Asia have been experiencing haze caused, uh, caused by open burning nearby countries. Prolonged haze affect the health of the peoples, especially with respiratory problems. API is used as a guide to know the level of air quality and its impact towards our health. Okay, these are the API index. This is the level of pollution okay, stated in the API index. We we'll start with zero. Okay, 0 to 50, the color is blue. So, every level have different colors. Okay, blue, green, yellow, uh, orange, and red. Okay, good for 0 to 50, and then moderate, unhealthy, very unhealthy, and hazardous. Okay, air pollution index will help us to know the level of the quality of air, okay, in our country or in at our place. Okay, next is air. What is air? Air is a layer, okay, layer of atmosphere here. Okay, consists of many gases. Example, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and inert gases. Example of inert gases are helium, argon, neon, xenon, and krypton. And then, uh, all these inert gases, they have their own function, okay. Um, air also contain dust, water vapor, and microorganisms. Okay, Seven point one composition of air. Air is a mixture. Okay, air is a mixture class, not compound. Air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and inert gas. The composition of air, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, inert gases, and others. Okay, these are the average percentage of its component by volume. Nitrogen seventy eight percent. Oxygen 21%, carbon dioxide 0.03%, inert gases and others 0.97%. Okay, the composition of air also can be drawn in the uh, types of pie chart like this. Okay, nitrogen which is uh, 78%. Okay, so the biggest region here is the nitrogen. Nitrogen is an inactive gas. Yes, okay, 78% is after that followed by oxygen 21% oxygen makes up one fifth of the air very important for and it's very important for respiration okay and then uh, carbon dioxide and others here okay others 0.97 others is actually water vapor microorganism and dust and the last one is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is 0.03% and it's important for photosynthesis Water vapor, microorganism, and dust. There is more water vapor in forests or after rain than during a hot day. Okay, the quantity of these components is low and varies according to place and time. Okay, and then some sicknesses such as fever are caused by microorganism in in the air. Okay, the quantity of this component class okay, is low and varies according to place and time. So if you go, uh, let's say the dust, okay. Dust near the road is more than the dust uh, near the river. Okay, and then uh, microorganism. Okay, microorganism uh, contained in air. That's why the the virus is in the air. So from here, I think you can relate what we learn here with the real situation outside there. This is experiment to determine the percentage of oxygen in the air. Okay, what, okay, what do you need for this experiment is a gas jar. The gas jar is divided into five parts. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then the word, uh, you light up a candle. Okay, the candle is light up. And then put the gas jar upside down. Okay, and then after a while, the candle here will extinguish. Okay, the candle will extinguish. Okay, why the candle extinguish okay, the candle extinguish when all the oxygen here inside the gas jar has been used up okay when no more oxygen inside the gas jar 
means there is empty space inside the gas jar. Okay, what will happen next is the water will enter the gas jar to replace the space of oxygen that has been used up during combustion. Okay, now the observation the water level increased to one fifth of the gas jar before, and then after the water level increased to one fifth of the gas jar. Okay, why is it happen like that? It shows that one fifth of air contains oxygen. Therefore, the air consists of 20% of oxygen. So, we know that approximately from this experiment, the percentage of oxygen in air is 20%. Okay, this cobalt chloride test paper, we use it to prove that air contains water vapor. Okay. And then this activity, we can prove that air contains dust. You can try to do it at home and compare the dust. Okay. Uh, let's say in the you can put the cellophane tape in the living room, one in your room, one and maybe one more outside your house and compare the dust. Okay, on the cellophane tape. And then this experiment to prove that air contains microorganism. A and B is actually the nutrient agar. So uh, A is covered. Okay, A is covered. And then B is left open like this. After a few days, the nutrient agar on B looks like this. Okay, here the spot, the yellow and the white spot here is actually the microorganism the microorganism already reproduced here on B is air a mixture the answer is yes the component can be separated by a physical method the method we call it as fractional distillation separation of a liquid mixture into fraction with different boiling points through boiling and condensation so the fractional distillation can be used to separate mixture of air Okay, this is the process. Air intake here. Air heats up uh, as it is compressed. Okay, compress the air and the air is heat up. And then the compressed air is cooled down here. Okay, the liquid nitrogen helps to cool down the, the air. The compressed air is allowed to expand and turn to liquid. Okay. So the air is separated to its component. Okay, the importance of gas these are the main gases okay that you want you need to know because they are very important oxygen is used for respiration we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide and water vapor oxygen also used in combustion of rocket engine and for welding and steel cutting okay it's also used to prepare various compound next is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is important for photosynthesis you have learned this in previous chapter okay, about photosynthesis and also carbon dioxide also used in fire extinguisher okay, because carbon dioxide uh, will help to put out the fire and then the production of carbonated drinks Okay, next is the properties of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen, the color is colorless. Carbon dioxide, colorless. Odor, odorless. Carbon dioxide, odorless. And solubility in water. Okay, uh, both oxygen and carbon dioxide, they are slightly soluble in water. Okay, reaction with sodium hydroxide. Uh, carbon dioxide, very soluble in sodium hydroxide. Effect on glowing and burning splinter. The, the glowing splinter will rely in oxygen and it will extinguish in carbon dioxide. Effect on moist litmus paper, no effect for oxygen and for carbon dioxide, it changed the blue litmus paper to red. It means that carbon dioxide is acidic. Okay, then another two, activity, uh, another two properties are the effect of lime water and effect of hydrogen carbonate indicator. Okay, we normally use a test which shows clear change. We use 
our senses to detect these changes. Uh, a glowing splinter is used to test the presence of oxygen. A glowing splinter will light up in the presence of oxygen. And the lime water used to test the presence of carbon dioxide. Lime water becomes cloudy in the presence of carbon dioxide. Okay, nitrogen. Nitrogen act as a cooling agent, and also important in the nitrogen cycle. And uh, nitrogen also used as to produce. Okay, nitrogen is used to produce nitric acid and ammonia. Inert gas. Okay, this is an example for the use of inert gas. Helium is used in hot air balloon, and then the neon gas in advertising light, and argon gas in a light bulb. Okay, when making an electric bulb, the air in the bulb is removed. It is replaced with an inert gas and nitrogen. The inactive gas and nitrogen do not react with the hot filament. Okay, next is the carbon cycle. Uh, you can refer page 200. The carbon cycle, they absorb carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and release carbon dioxide for respiration, decomposition and combustion. Okay, the carbon cycle is important to maintain the content of carbon dioxide. Okay, uh, this is the figure, okay, figure of carbon dioxide, the process of that use and release carbon dioxide. Next is the oxygen cycle. Okay, what uh, the process that need the oxygen cycle? They are the respiration process, combustion, rusting, decomposition, and also the one and only process that release oxygen is photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is very important. Please appreciate. Okay, next is uh, the figure. Of the process of oxygen in atmosphere. Okay, ways to prevent interference in the oxygen and carbon cycle. Okay, stop air pollution. Okay, because when there are air pollution, the carbon dioxide will increase. Deforestation. Okay, if deforestation is happening like this, the oxygen will decrease because the number of uh, green plant that produce oxygen will decrease. The consequence of this interference are the global warming and greenhouse effect. Okay, this is how the greenhouse effect happen. If the layer of carbon dioxide gas is too thick and it will trap the heat from the, the sun okay, in the, the earth atmosphere. So if the heat is, is trapped in our atmosphere, it can cause the increase of temperature on the earth. The carbon dioxide gas is also an air pollutant. It prevents heat from the earth from es escaping into space. This causes the temperatures on the earth to rise. This is known as greenhouse effect. The increase in temperatures will result in changes in climate. Ways to prevent interference. Prohibit illegal logging. Avoid using excessive pesticide. Reforestation. Prevent excessive release of smoke from vehicles. And do not burn forests. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.